okay even on our, on our tiktok on our youtube page now we are good to go uh, so i give god the glory and the honor that he deserves so children of god let's tap tap the screen let's share the live let's make invites let someone know that we are on and we are ready for this evening and we are ready to give god the glory that he deserves hallelujah the bible says in romans i think i should read new uh, king james version let's get romans as we wait for our other friends to come and then we we start fellowshipping and we give god the glory that he deserves praise the name of the living god So children of God, the Bible says in Romans uh, ch chapter 5 verse 15 and it says, For you all did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave, again to fear, but you received the spirit of sonship, and by him we cry, Abba, Father. Praise the name of the living God. Children of God, the Bible says fear is evil. So every time you come in the realm of fear, God is giving a reminder. That you did not receive the spirit of fear. So, child of God, when we are lacking, when we are tried, when things don't make sense, man seems to fear. Man seems to worry. But, children of God, today I come with good news. I come with good news today. God is saying you don't need to worry. So, in everything that you're doing, child of God, get to know that Jesus is with you. Get to know that the spirit of the living God is for you. Praise the name of the living God. That's why he's saying, for you did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave to fear. So child of God, it means that every time you entune yourself to fear, then you're already a slave to fear. So God is saying that I did not give you a spirit of fear. Child of God, this evening, whatever it is that you're going through, God is saying, I did not give you the spirit of fear. And we know that fear is evil. And we know what is evil, children of God. So this evening, I am bringing something to your attention, child of God. As you come to fellowship, as you come to worship, as you come to trust God, as you come to present your request known to Christ Jesus, he's saying that I did not give you a spirit of fear. Praise the name of the living God church. I did not give you a spirit of fear. Remember everything that we have is of the Lord. Everything that we have is from the Lord. Everything that we benefit or these gifts, the gifts of prophecy, the gifts of faith, the gifts of ancestors, uh, uh, prof uh, prophetic, every gift is from Christ Jesus. And it is for unification, edification for the body of Christ. So children of God, when you have the spirit of fear today, as you're coming on today's life, no matter the circumstance, no matter what it is that the devil has been doing, no matter what challenge it is that you're going through, I come with good news. Today you're going to drop that fear because that fear is from the devil and you do not receive that spirit from Christ Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. Meaning that everything that you received of Christ should benefit you and it should treasure you. Praise the name of the living God. So children of God, the Bible uh, is saying in, uh, in uh, verse 16, and it says that the spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. So child of God, every time you come in the realm of fear, actually the Bible classifies this as slavery. So when you come in slavery, then you're under fear. Praise the name of the living God. Those on our TikTok page, may the Lord bless you. And those on our YouTube page, may the Lord bless you. For what you're doing to fellowship this evening is so great. Praise the name of the living God. So children of God, God is saying you did not receive the spirit of fear. He's saying in everything that you're doing, I did not give you the spirit of fear. So child of God, ask yourself, where does the spirit of fear come from? Why is it that when things challenge me, I feel like I should back down? But in you, you are a new, cre a, a new creation. In you, you are the child of God. Praise the name of the living God. So child of God, God is saying, you don't need to fear. So this evening, I'm telling you, no matter what it is that you're facing, no matter what it is that you're encountering, I'm saying, child of God, you do not need to fear. Fear is evil. So put it down today and say, Abba, I'm making a way. Hallelujah. 
Say, Lord Jesus, today, I repent of fear. Where I've been worried, where I've been in fear, Lord Jesus, I repent. So children of God, today is someone's day to repent. Today is someone's day to say, Father, forgive me. Lord, where I've gone wrong, where I've relied on myself, forgive me. Hallelujah. So this evening, child of God, as you come to fellowship, I'm giving you a reminder. Remember, you don't receive the spirit of fear. The Lord is saying that spirit is a spirit of slavery. That's why when you have that spirit, there is a way your joy is taken away. When you're in that realm, you feel you don't operate. Like your inner, the glory that is within you cannot come out. Praise the name of the living God church. So this evening, I come with good news. Believe me, we are going to win in Jesus' mighty name. Where the devil is saying, I have you, I'm saying he does not have you. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah, church. So let's start up the screen on our TikTok page. And then we can start today's live. And then the people on our YouTube page, may the Lord bless you. For everything that you're doing, thank you. May Jesus continue to bless you. Thank you, surely, for sparing time to come and fellowship. Hallelujah. So, children of God, we did not receive the spirit of fear. So, every time you're in that realm, ask yourself, where is this spirit coming from? Why am I in slavery? Because God is saying when you're under the realm of fear, you're in slavery, child of God. So child of God, this evening I'm saying, don't go in fear. Don't come in the realm of fear. Because when you come in that realm, you're, you're giving chance to the devil to take advantage of you. Hallelujah, church. So wherever it is that you're watching from, may Jesus bless you. Whatever it is that you're saying this evening, I come to tap in, may Jesus bless you. Hallelujah. So, child of God, let's break the yokes. Let's break the limitations. Let's break the elements. What the devil has been having on you, saying, I know when I come in the realm of fear, I hold you. Today we are saying no. Because the Bible says, resist it to the devil and he will leave you. So when you resist it, you already know what you're resisting. You're resisting slavery. So child of God, this evening, agree with me that you're not going to go for slavery. Praise the name of the living God church. So don't let yourself go in for slavery, child of God. Because he knows, if I come in this room and I hold them and I bring fear to them, I will have them. But children of God, this evening, I'm saying, the Lord has given you a reminder. So whatever it is, whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is you're encountering, the Bible says there is time for everything. Hallelujah. So your time for everything is coming. There is time to be happy. There is time to celebrate. There are moments and seasons for everything, child of God. So when things don't seem to make sense for you at the beginning, don't worry. Hallelujah. So don't look and you'll be like, God, you've forgotten me. No, he cannot forget you. He's in you and he's with you. So he cannot let you perish or die. Because you're so important to him. Hallelujah. So let, let, let's have a moment and we will come to today's service and we pray to the Lord and then Jesus can set us free. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you this evening. We will come your presence to be with us, O oh Lord. May your angels come and be with us. The Bible says when two or more come in your name, your presence is with them. So we thank you, Jesus, because this evening, wherever we, you are watching from, the Lord is with us and is not going to leave you the same. May you be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Children of God, let's celebrate the love of God. Let's celebrate Jesus. 
whatever you're watching from let's celebrate jesus whatever it is that you're going through celebrate jesus he is not going to leave you the same we are in seasons of winning we are in seasons where jesus is saying i am with you and i know you praise the name of the living god jesus is saying today i'm not going to leave you the same where the devil has been saying i have you no you don't belong to the devil Praise the name of the living God. So today's sermon is called Tali. A simple sermon. Waiting upon the Lord. Because he wrote and said, I waited patiently upon the Lord. Child of God, in waiting upon the Lord, there are trials, there are tribulations, there are challenges. But today, I'm saying, wait upon the Lord. Tali! Be in that place, child of God, until you see results. Be in that place, child of God, until Jesus lifts you up. And then we see the glory of Christ on your life. Hallelujah. So, children of God, every time we go in retreat, that is in fasting and prayer, we are telling, we are waiting, we are trying to defend our relationship with Jesus Christ. That's why we go in, in retreat. Hallelujah. Let's see the Bible. Uh, I'm reading uh, uh, King James Version. Uh, let's see Genesis chapter 1. We are reading Gen Gen Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, 28. And then we sing what it is saying in Jesus' mighty name. And it says, uh, 28 says, and it says, Then God blessed them, and, and God said to them, be, be fruitful, fill the earth, subdue, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Praise the name of the living God. Children of God, when God created you, he blessed you. So from the time you are created, you are blessed. So in you, there is a blessing. There is a blessing that lives within you. There is a blessing that already is operational within you. So where you are lacking, God is saying, you are blessed. Hallelujah, church. So, child of God, this evening, wherever you're watching from, you're blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever it is that God is saying, I will set you free. I will give you answers. I've heard your cry. I've set everything for you. This evening, child of God, you're blessed. Hallelujah. So, Jesus is saying, I've set you free. Jesus is saying, from the time I called you, I called you by your name, and I ordained you something. Child of God, remember our theme is Tali. Wait upon the Lord. So children of God, we need to learn to wait upon the Lord in all circumstances. That no, whether good or bad, we know we have time. There is time for everything. Our God won't leave us the same. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah, church. So this evening is you waiting upon the Lord. Where the devil has been saying, I have you, you're saying, you don't have me, I'm waiting upon my father. Praise the name of the living God. So children of God, we should learn. We should learn not to give the devil a chance to take advantage of us. 
For the Bible says in Isaiah 40, 31, and it says, For those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Those who wait upon the Lord. Child of God, as you're becoming weary, every time you're waiting upon the Lord, you renew your strength. So, child of God, where the devil is saying, I have a trap for you, I have good news for you this evening. The Lord is saying that those who wait upon him shall renew their strength and they will soar on the wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Children of God, whatever trap it is that the devil has for you this evening, I'm telling you in Jesus' mighty name, he's already defeated. Remember our title, our theme is Tally. Praise the name of the living God. So church, let's share the screen, uh, let's tap up the screen on our TikTok page. Let someone know that the prophet is on. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. We need to learn to wait upon the Lord. That in everything, we wait upon him until he sets us free. Hallelujah. So the Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, Verse 26, and it says that uh, God said, Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish. So, child of God, we are going to see what it means to tally as you're waiting upon the Lord. Where do you have the capacity? How do you have the, 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 the grace to wait upon the Lord? So Jesus said in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, and he says, let us create man in our own image. Remember God in the three person. Hallelujah. So he said, let us create man in our own image. So now, those that have not seen the glory of God are saying, now we are going to see God. Because he's saying, let us create man in our own image. Child of God, if God had created us like the sun, that would be glory enough. If God had created you like the Holy Spirit, that still would be glory enough. Hallelujah. So if he had created you like the Father, still that would be glory enough. But he said... Let us create man in our own image. So the Bible says in, in verse, two, in verse uh, 27, and it says, uh, and it says uh, they, they, they created man in their own image. And the Bible says in Genesis 1, 2, so it says, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Child of God, when you look at yourself, you're the image of God. I'm breaking it down for you today. Tally, wait patiently. So children of God, God is saying, let us create man. But we are seeing something in here. In our image, the Trinity, we are creating man. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we are creating man today in the Trinity. Hallelujah. So God is saying, let the totality of Godhead fall upon man today. Today, I am creating man. Hallelujah, church. So, man is the revelation of the word of God. The revelation of the spirit. The revelation of the father. Child of God, you are the revelation of God. The revelation of God. In the beginning was God, and God was the one. Right now, when God said, let us create man, 
you are that revelation. Hallelujah, church. So God is saying, let us create man. And the Bible is saying, they created man. So man was created child of God. So God is saying, let us create man. So man being the revelation of the word, the revelation of the spirit, the revelation of the father. Hallelujah. We are looking at the Godhead. Because when he said, let us create man, man was created. So in what realm, in what capacity was man created? So man was created in this capacity that I'm trying to break down for you in Jesus' mighty name. So when man comes, man comes with the full potential of the manifestation of God. Praise the name of the living God. So child of God right now this evening, you're coming with the full potential of the manifestation of God. Hallelujah. So this evening, whatever it is that is disturbing you, you're saying, I'm coming in the full potential of the manifestation of God. The Lord who created me. Praise the name of the living God. The Lord who created me. Hallelujah. So the Lord who created you is saying that we, you are created in God's image. You are created. Hallelujah, church. So God is saying you are created, child of God, this evening. Praise the name of the living God. So, child of God, God is saying, you are created. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God, church. Hallelujah, church. So, God is saying, let us create man. In the image, in the realm of God, man was created. So today, this evening, man, God is saying, let us create man. So when man comes, man comes with the full potential of what, of, of, of the manifestation of God. So in you, child of God, there is power. In you, there is grace. In you, there is everything. Hallelujah. So, Children of God, we see one thing. Why did God create man? Because we see a fallen angel. There was that civilization of angels that had the splendor, that had the, 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 the God's glory almost. So when they fell, God says in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God church. In Genesis chapter 1, the Bible says, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So children of God, we are seeing at the heavens and the earth being created. And we are looking at the civilization of the heaven and the earth being created. Hallelujah. So God is saying, let us create. So man was created. So in the beginning, God had already created the heavens. There was a civilization that lived before man. Hallelujah. And now we are seeing a word saying, and, 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 and let us create the heavens. We are looking, there is S, meaning there are many heavens. Let us create heavens and the earth. Earth being one. And now we are seeing the word and, meaning I am. Hallelujah. So the word and, in here is meaning Ayumu. So Ayumu meaning the civilization existed before men were created. Praise the name of the living God. So the spirit realm had this God as its spearhead. So the angels of God existed until a time came. Hallelujah. Until a time came and they rebelled and they fell. Hallelujah. So when they rebelled against God, now God looks for a way of saying, how can I make sure I manifest? Hallelujah. So God gives us a reason, children of God, tally, 
Remember, it's our theme. So God gives us a, re a revelation of why and how these angels fell. What was the key issue as to why they fell? Why were they suspended? Why was it important for God to say, let I make man? Hallelujah. What was so important for God to say, let I make man? Praise the name of the living God. So man was made in the image of God. So man, as you're listening, you are made and created in the realm and the image of God. Praise the name of the living God church. And the Bible says in Ezekiel chapter 28 verse 13, and it says, You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone adored you. So we are looking at the reason when the angel fell. The Lord is giving a reminder how uh, how, how certain was and he's saying when he was in the garden of Eden the garden of God every precious stone adored you ruby tapas and amrad so all the stones that were so precious were with this angel the gold and everything so this angel was with everything but the Bible says still in a second that because of pride Hallelujah. So, this angel was so unique, but because of pride, we look at the Bible even giving us a classification, saying that this angel did not need to worship, because in him there were equipments of worship. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. So, children of God, every time this angel shook off like this, sound was made. For the glory of God, when God came from the east gate, immediately this angel knew how to welcome the presence of the living God. So, such were the powers of this God. The Bible even says that he reflected wisdom. Hallelujah, child of God. Praise the name of the living God church. So he reflected wisdom. He had everything, worship everything. That's how the Lord created him. But because he had pride and he rebelled because of pride, the Bible is saying, now there God is like, let me see what to do. Now the idea of man now comes to manifestation. God goes back. To the studios and it's like let i let me create man in my image praise the name of the living god so children of god when you look at ezekiel we are reading from uh chapter 20 uh, chapter 28 verse 13 and it says that uh you were in the garden the garden of god every precious stone was your covering children of god this angel was covered by these precious stones hallelujah so God is saying, every precious stone was your covering. And then he names them, the Sidious, the Topaz, and the Diamond, the Berry, the Oxen, the Jasper, the Sulphur, the, and everything, the gold, everything. The workmanship of your uh, brole and the pipes were prepared for you on the day you were created. So he had everything. Hallelujah, church. He had everything. And, and the Bible in verse 14 says, You were anointed, the children who covers, I established you. You were on the holy mountain of God. You walked back and forth in the midst of fierce stones. Hallelujah. So, this is how this precious stone uh, angel was made. Praise the name of the living God church. So, the Lord made it, the Lord created it. And the Lord gave it everything. Hallelujah. And then verse 15 says, You were perfect in your ways from the day you were created till iniquity was found in you. So when the Lord found iniquity in this angel, he felt betrayed. Pride caused this angel to fall. Praise the name of the living God church. So, God says, iniquity was found in you. Hallelujah. So, when iniquity was found in it, immediately, they had to put it down. 
And then verse 16 says, By the abundance of your trading, you became filled with the violence within, and you sin. Therefore I curse you as a profane thing out of the mountain of God, and I destroyed you of your covering children from the midst of the fury of stones. So the Lord set it away. Why? Because of iniquity. Iniquity was found in it. Praise the name of the living God. So if he moved at night, he redaliated the, the light frequency because there was God. There was everything. That was the glory of that angel that we're speaking about, children of God. So in Genesis, God says, let us create man. Now the whole heaven was arrested because God has already cast out the angel. And then he says, let us create man. Hallelujah. So God is saying, ah, let us create man. Everyone is like, we have not seen you. So today when you create man in your image, we are going to see you, God. Praise the name of the living God. If you're with me, you can wave to me. Hallelujah. If you're with me, you can wave. Praise the name of the living God. Praise the name of the living God, church. So if you're with me, celebrate Jesus. Let's celebrate because we are precious. Let's celebrate because he said, let I create man in my own image. Let I create man and I make sure this man is my own. So everyone who lacked, who wanted to see the glory of God, said, let me see who the Lord is going to make. So when heaven was arrested, man was prepared. And the Bible says they created man in the image of God. Hallelujah. So man came in manifestation. Man came with revelation. So children of God, first in Ionic, God, God went back to create. We see the power of the angels that we didn't know. But now God is saying, let I create a beautiful, precious man. In my image. Hallelujah. So in the image of God. You are created. So when you look at what the Bible says. In Ezekiel chapter 28. You think that all beauty was finished. So when God said let us create man. Everyone will be like but God. You completed beauty in your angel. So what are you going to make of man. Because when you look at the angels of God, when you see Archangel Michael, you see strength. When you see Archangel, when you see Gabriel, you see mysteries. When you see Lucifer, you see excellence. So you'd feel the beauty of man was complete. Sorry, of angels. So one would ask, what is God going to create? Everything is finished. Hallelujah. Child of God, you're blessed. That's why I say, Tally. Wait patiently upon the Lord. No matter what it is, wait patiently upon the Lord. Tally, child of God, until you get results. Tally, no matter what it is, please move when you have the hand of God with you. So, child of God, we thought beauty was completed in heaven. In creating us, God wanted to manifest now his own glory. Hallelujah. Because those who had never seen God had, we are creating man in our image. Okay. So if I say, you have not seen me, but I'm sending someone for you, you've seen me because someone has come from me. But this time God says, let we create man in our own image. So in the image of God, man is created. Hallelujah. Man is made. Now we see God creating the manifestation of his own glory. Hallelujah. But child of God, I want you to listen so crucial. There is, there is a different key between man and the angels of God. Hallelujah. So when they had never seen God, now they were waiting to see how does man appear. Because if I'm saying I'm going to create man in my image, now that means in my appearance I'm coming. So I think heaven was like, oh, everyone in heaven were like, uh-uh. Let's wait and see how God looks like. Because he's going to create man in his own image. Hallelujah. So the glory was bright. You could not comprehend it. So even the angels, the children, the Bible says, they walk when they 
have covered their eyes because the glory of God is too much. They cannot contend it. Hallelujah. So the Bible says when they walk as they are in the presence of God, they cover their eyes. Praise the name of the living God. Because the Bible says the children have two what? They have six wings. So when they walk, they walk covered the two. And the Bible says in Ephesians, uh, sorry, Isaiah chapter 6 verse 2 and it says, Above him were the seraphims, each with six wings. With two wings they covered their faces. With two wings they covered their feet. And with two they were flying. So now the children that are always in the presence of God, they are covering themselves. Because the glory of God is too much. But this God is saying, let I create God, man in my image. Meaning that the glory of man is something that I'm going to introduce to you today, child of God. Hallelujah, church. I feel like I'm preaching to myself. Praise the name of the living God. I feel like I'm preaching to myself. I pray that someone is really flowing with me. So, child of God, in the image of God, man is created. Hallelujah. Because the children that are always in his presence, they cannot comprehend the Bible is saying even the 24 elders that are always in his presence, they cannot comprehend. The presence of God, behold, when it comes, they fall. And then for the first time, God is saying, ah, let's create man in our own image. Praise the name of the living God. You see how precious you are. You see how beautiful you are. You see how anointed you are. You see how strong you are. You're created. In the image of God. Hallelujah. In the image of God, man is created. In the image of God, man is made. In the image of God, man is now positioned. So I think in heaven they started saying, now let us see how God looks like. We have not seen his shape, but we have seen his dimension. But in the image we are seeing you today, sir. Hallelujah. He's a merciful God. So, child of God, why do you think that our own glory is not external like angels? When you encounter angels, the glory of angels is external. But the glory of man is internal. Why? Because man is created in the image of God. So if the glory of God, of man is external, creatures will worship man. Hallelujah. Creatures will worship man because man is created in the image of God. It's done in Jesus' mighty name. I call it forth as the angel of the Lord. Sorry, as the prophet of God. I'm speaking about angels. You never know, maybe an angel. But let's jokes aside. So, children of God, in the image of God, man is created. So, child of God, if your if your if if our glory is external, then creatures will worship you. But we know we worship only one true God. So God said and decided, let me hide the glory of God inside. So the, sorry, the glory of man. So the glory of man, you man watching, you man listening, the glory of God is within you, inside you. So God hid his glory in man, internally, not externally. So man came, you man, you came to reveal God. You came to manifest God. Because in the image of God, you are created. Hallelujah. You came to express God. Praise the name of the living God church. So when you start, when a man starts walking in his purpose or ordinations, then we see the fingerprint of Christ. We see the fingerprint of God. So child of God, it is your mandate that you walk in the purposes and ordinations that Jesus created you. Praise the name of the living God church. 
Hallelujah, church. I'm blessed to be preaching to you this evening, by the way. Hallelujah. Because we see something so crucial here in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. And it says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nation. So child of God, there is an ordination that is on man. Before you were created, God already put something. So child of God, in you we see the manifest of man. Sorry of God. That's why you meet a non-Christian, when you misbehave, they'll be like, I thought Christians should not do like this. So if they are non-Christians, why and how would they know how you should behave? Because you're the manifest of God. Hallelujah. How many are flowing? How many are following children of God? How many are learning and how many are being blessed? Hallelujah. So child of God, now we see the manifest of God in you. We see the revealed glory of God in man. That's why John says in 1 Corinthians, that's what it says. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1. Hallelujah church. And it says, Follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. So John had understood the realm and is saying, follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. So child of God, when you master who God says is you are, you are untouchable. Even Paul had learned the same. The internal elements of Christ revealed in man Paul learned this mystery at his age. And that's why he said, when heaven was created, there was a mystery that governed it. Hallelujah. So, when, when, when our generation was created, the mystery that is God in the tabernacle of man is now moving. Hallelujah. So, God is saying, today, my man, I'm setting you free. Because I'm reminding you of who you are. So where you've been having limitation, child of God, today God is saying, I am setting you free. Today God is saying, I am setting you free. I am delivering you. I'm giving you everything you need. Because in my image, in my glory, internally, you were created. In the power, that's why after creating, he says, I've given you power. You have power, child of God. To level Hallelujah. So he says, you have power to level. Those mountains that are in front of you, you have power. So this evening, child of God, wherever you're fellowshipping from, let us level mountains. Because we know who we are. We are the chosen ones. Praise the name of the living God. So child of God, know that God is in you. You are expected to manifest the glory of God. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 91. How many of you are being blessed? How many of you are being blessed, children of God? I want to see you raise hands. Let's tell our friends in our TikTok group that we are on YouTube. Because TikTok is trying to misbehave. Hallelujah, church. So, children of God, the Bible says in, a, in, a, in, a, in Psalms uh, chapter 91, and it says, He who dwells in the shelter of the most, most high God will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. The manifest of growth of God in you, man. So, many people pray this, but this is a revelation of who man is. The manifest of God is this. And it says, who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Remember the Bible says that we reign with God in heavenly places. In heavenly places, man is where you sit. In heavenly places, the manifest of Christ is where you are. Hallelujah. 
So he's saying in Psalms 91 verse 1, and he says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Praise the name of the living God. Child of God, you reign. You reign. That's how powerful you are. That's how you were created. So every limitation by such someone's student of God, they don't stand again. They don't contend. Because in here you know who you are. Hallelujah. So I'm reading King James Version and it is saying, it is, uh, I'm reading Psalms 91 and it says, He who dwells in the separate, separate place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Most. Child of God, you're under the shadow of Christ Jesus. And verse 2 says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. So, child of God, you are. this is exactly the revelation of man in God. This is the man. You will say of the Lord, this is what you're saying to the child of God. This is not your prayer. This is not, no, this is the revelation of who man is. And verse 2 says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. Hallelujah. And then verse 3 says, Surely he shall deliver, surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the frawler and from the prelas, pestilence. So, child of God, there is deliverance because that is the manifest of man that was created by God. And then verse, uh, verse 4 says, uh, verse 4 says, He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and trackler. Verse 5 says, You will not fear in terror. You will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day. Child of God, in the image of God, the manifest of God in man. Hallelujah. So child of God, that's how powerful you are. The revelation of man. Talent. Wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord until you entune on who the Lord has called you to be. Praise the name of the living God. When you entune on who Jesus has ordained you to be, child of God, your life does not remain the same. Hallelujah. When you entune yourself, praise the name of the living God. So my, my, many of us pray this, Psalms 91, which is good. But I'm telling you the reality to be. This verse, this reading is telling you the reality to be who you are. Praise the name of the living God. So verse 6 says, <clears throat> and it says, A senseless man does not know, nor does a fool understand this. So any man that is not senseless, they don't know this. And the fool does not understand this. But you, the generation that I'm speaking to, this is the revelation of who you are to Christ. You understand this because you've heard it. Praise the name of the living God. So children of God, you're blessed. Hallelujah. And it goes on to say, a thousand may fall at your feet and ten thousand at your right hand but it shall not come near you because you're in the glory of christ you are the image of god so they cannot come to you praise the name of the living god man do not fear when man fears you empower the devil but this evening in the name of jesus every limitation we are bringing them them down in jesus mighty name we are breaking every yokes every powers of lack every limitation every captivity every lack of knowledge every lack of knowing who you are in christ jesus today we are bringing it down in jesus mighty name Hallelujah, church. And then verse 8 says, wonderful, wonderful. Hear the revelation of we are child of God. And then it says, only with your eyes you shall look and see the reward of the wicked. Who? You with your eyes. And the Bible says, I think in Revelation, that in the end time we will see and we ask ourselves, is this like a devil? 
So on judgment day, you will see with your eyes, you, the image of God. Hallelujah. You're blessed children of God. <clears throat> Praise the name of the living God. I'm so blessed to share such a message. It is so powerful. That's why you see me smiling. So happy because I feel my spirit relieved for such a powerful message. So child of God, you're blessed in the image of God. You dwell. <clears throat> you dwell. In verse 1 it says, He who dwells, you dwell, child of God. Hallelujah. And it says, He who dwells in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So child of God, you're abiding under the shadow of the Almighty now. Hallelujah. You're abiding under the shadow. Praise the name of the living God. So where the devil is saying, I have you, tell him, man, you cannot have me. <laughs> You're not my type of. But he only said that if you know who you are. So don't come in slavery. No. Don't come in fear because the Bible is saying in Romans, fear is slavery. Come and tally in who the Lord has called you to be. Come and tally and be who Jesus has ordained you to be. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah, church. How many of you are blessed so far? Hallelujah. People have missed this sermon, but may the Lord bless them. Wait upon the Lord. It may be difficult, children of God, but wait. Try to be there. Tally and wait upon him. Try. Try. No matter how hard it is, temptations are many, challenges are many, questions are many, everything wants to kill you. Wait upon him. Children of God, those who have waited upon the Lord, they've not made any loss. Your lives will come back to reality. Your lives will make sense. Your destinies will light. Wait upon the Lord. Only when he sets you free, go and see his hand. But as for now, children of God, in this message, tally and wait upon the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't worry. Keep trying. You will definitely fall in with time. You may start praying today one minute, you cannot handle two minutes, you cannot handle 30 minutes, you fall asleep, it is okay. Keep there, child of God. You're doing the right thing. Today you'll come and you fellowship, tomorrow you'll miss, but keep trying. Along the way, the Bible says, you will encounter the Holy Spirit and you'll be given power. So when you encounter every limitation, will bite. Hallelujah. So children of God, keep there, stay with God. Remember one thing, God's voice isn't loud though, no? It's not that you're going to hear da 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 da, no, the, God of, the voice of God is not loud, but it is distinct. Hallelujah. You will know that this is the voice of God. So try to hear the voice of God. I know we are in a world that is full of noise, but the distinct, distinct noise, voice of God, you need to hear it. Hallelujah. So children of God, tally. Wait upon the Lord. Hallelujah. Wait upon the Lord. When everything challenges you, don't give up. When you're almost there, the devil will try. Hallelujah. The devil will try to crush you. The devil will try to say, I have you. The devil will try to say that I will, let me put you down. But child of God, don't leave it. Tell it. Be there in Jesus' mighty name. Don't leave. No matter how hard it may be, don't leave. Tally. Keep there. Wait upon him. Look unto him. Tally, child of God. The Bible says in John chapter 10, verse 27. And it says, uh, John 10, 27, and it says, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Hallelujah. My sheep listen to my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. So, child of God, I said, the, vo the voice of God is not loud, but it is distinct. As you're waiting upon the Lord patiently in trials and in everything that wants to bring you down, wait upon him, children of God. You're going to see results. 
my sheep listen to my voice and I know them. So child of God is when you listen to the voice of God, you're known. No matter why, who you are, as long as you understand the voice of God, you're going to see manifestations. Follow your way. Praise the name of the living God. So children of God, this season, as we are almost finishing December, it's time for us to be untouchable, knowing who we are. And then the Bible says in verse 28, And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. Because you're created in the image. No one can snatch you out of the hand of God. That enemy right now will try. He'll be like, I'll crush you. He will say, I will have your numbers. Day, your day is numbered. He will say, I have everything. But child of God, I come with good news. He's only trying. You're so highly blessed. You're so highly anointed. You're, you're untouchable in Jesus' mighty name. Under the realm of Christ, no one can defeat you. Hallelujah. No one can defeat you, child of God. So no matter what they do, under this realm, no one can defeat you. This is your message this evening. So prophetic and so profound. Hallelujah. The voice of God. I'll come with it, someone, but today we are looking at something so brief. The image of God, of man that was created in the image of God. So when I was young, every time I had the, we are created in the image of God. So I would look at my brother and I look at myself and I see we physically don't look alike. So I would always ask, was God brown? And then the same time he became black or when he comes to me, he's black or when he goes to my brother, he's brown. And when, until I understood such revelations. Praise the name of the living God. I know some of you were like me, don't laugh at me. <laughs> Hallelujah, church. But we are blessed. We are blessed. Hallelujah. The reason that even people are still not knowing God is they don't have a revelation of who God is. They don't. But we're going to try by all means to make sure that our generation knows the living God. We cannot remain the same. And absolutely, we cannot remain the same. Hallelujah, church. So children of God, in this realm, you need to learn to hear the voice of God. So verse 29 of John chapter 10 says, uh, let's see what it says. And then we give God the glory and the honor. And it says that uh, my father who has, who has given them to me is greater than all. And no one is able to snatch them out of my father's hand. And then verse 30 says, Children of God, it is so important. I think we all need to read it or we all need to type it. We all need to type it in the name of Jesus. And it says, I and the Father are one. Oh Lord Jesus, you are precious. Me and God, we are one. Hallelujah. So when the devil is saying you have jo no job, you're saying me and the Father, we are one. When the devil is saying you won't produce, you say, me and the father, we are one. When the devil is saying, I'm going to make you a sickler, you say, I don't know if that word is true in English. But if the devil is saying, I'm going to make sure that you live a life all the time falling sick. You're like, no, me and God, we are one. So if I fall sick, my father will fall sick. He won't let me to fall sick. So what the devil wishes of you, you cannot be unless you don't know who you are. Nevertheless, the singer said, we are a chosen generation. So child of God, you are a chosen generation in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And it is said, I and my father are one. And the Bible says, I can only do what I've seen my father do. So if you are one with Christ Jesus, then you're capable, you're, you're so important. Your strength is a revelation of who Christ is to you. Hallelujah. How many are blessed? Praise the name of the living God. By show of hands on our YouTube page, how many are blessed? So, child of God, in here you need to train yourself to abide. I'm seeing Jojo saying, I and the Father, we are one. Yeah, you and the father, you one, meaning that there is no difference between you and your father. The revelation is you are in your father. 
your father is you you are the father and the bible says god said don't they know ye are gods <clears throat> when the pharisees tried him hallelujah praise the name of the living god hallelujah I think it is in Psalms. I'm trying to look for it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You and God are one. Praise the name of the living God church. You and God are one. How many of you are blessed? You're saying that no matter what the devil is doing, me and God are one. So you're going to win because you and God are one. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God church. <clears throat> So where are you struggling, where are you lacking, you're one with Christ Jesus. <clears throat> when the devil is saying, I have you, you're like, man, you don't have me, you're not my type. I'm learning and I'm biding to know who I am so that I can see what I should do. So child of God, you're blessed. You and your father are one. Hallelujah. The child of God, you and your father are one. And the Bible says in Psalms uh, chapter 82 verse 1, and it says, A psalm of us of God prides, 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 presides in the great assembly. He giveth judgment among the gods. And then here in another version it says, uh, uh, and it says, they, they walk about in darkness, all the foundation of the earth are shaken. I said, you are gods. You are all sons of the Most High God. Him saying being Jesus. He said, you are gods because you co-rule with Christ. That's why he has sent you on planet earth to conquer. You come in authority. That is the image of who you are. You come to govern the earth on behalf of who? Praise the name of the living God. Children of God, I pray to God that may you have a revelation of who truly you are. Believe me, when you have a manifestation of who truly you are, then you play, praise the Lord all the time. You won't struggle all the time you know who you are. So train yourself to abide. Tally. Train yourself, children of God, to abide. When he comes, he comes with a still voice. Train yourself. Many people have not stayed with God. Many. But today, children of God, under the command of my voice, you are learning how to tally. You are learning how to stay with God. That's why when we had a challenge on TikTok, you manifested and came to, to YouTube. You're still learning. So this world that is full of noise, there's a lot of things taking your attention. Amidst every child of God, you need to learn to tally. Hallelujah. So children of God, build capacity. Tally. Don't give up. Build capacity. Stay there. Start to grow in it. Start being it. Start running it. Start manifesting it. Start living it. Start understanding it. Start being exactly who the Lord has called you to be. You have to learn to wait upon God, children of God. You have to learn to start waiting upon the Lord. Tally is our today's theme. Hallelujah. Tally, child of God. No matter what it is, the devil will try. Tally. Hallelujah, church. The Bible says in, in Mark chapter 3, verse 14, and it says, He appointed the twelve, design, eh? 
designating them apostles that they might be with him that he might send them out to preach hallelujah children of god tally until he sends you tally until you learn and then he says uh -uh, today i've seen you prophet you move child of god tally until he says you doctor i've seen you now it is time you move when the lord says move you've gone to excel your destiny has now been brought to reality Hallelujah. Children of God, let's learn to tally in this generation. In these end time days, let's learn to tally. When the devil is saying, I have you, you'll be like, uh -uh, you don't have me. But right now you cannot say it because even you're still trapped. But when you've learned who you are, you don't need to say it. Your results will speak for you. And they will celebrate you. Hallelujah, church. So where they are saying, we have you, right now you have no answer, but you have an answer because now you've learned who you are in the name of Jesus. That's, that's why the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28. Let's read there and we see what it says. Praise the name of the living God. And then the Bible says, ah, do you not know, have you not heard, the Lord is everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or worry, and his understanding no one can, can, can perform. Hallelujah. So child of God, God is with you. No matter what it is, he, he is not going to leave you. And then the Bible says, he gives strength to the worry and increases the power of the weak. Praise the name of the living God. When the devil says, when the enemy says, when the evil one is saying, I have you, child of God, the Lord is strengthening your weakness. You're going to show them that you're so powerful by your results, by your manifestations, you're going to show them. Hallelujah, church. So tally. Children of God, let's learn to wait upon the Lord. No matter what they want to do, let's learn to wait upon the Lord. Let's move out when the Lord wants us to manifest. And the Bible says in verse 1 that every youth grows tired and worry, and young men stumble and fail. So children of God, we know that the most strong people are the young men. But the Lord is saying when he does not strengthen you, even when you're a young man, you get tired. You get worried. You break. But child of God, when you do what you're doing in the realm of Jesus, that means when you wait upon the Lord and you don't learn to send yourself and you don't, you don't learn to move ahead to yourself and you don't learn to, to keep in the, your will and you fall in the will and you abide, even when you are a Hannah, child of God, results will come. Even when you're an Abraham that is 90 and above, results will come. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah, church. So may Jesus bless you in everything that you're doing. I believe that you're blessed. I believe that you have a revelation. The children of God continue to tally in the presence of the living God. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in John chapter 6, verse 63, and it says, The Spirit gives life. The fresh counts for nothing. So, child of God, every time you're in the fresh and you want to operate in the fresh, the Lord is giving you a reminder that the fresh counts for nothing. And thus the Bible says that the words I've spoken to you are spirit and life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy every area of yours may it see life in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit gives life and the flesh counts for nothing. The words I've spoken to you are the spirit and their life. So right now, child of God, you're listening to life. You're seeing the manifestation of life. So your life is coming to manifest fruits for you in the name of Jesus. And we will give the glory and the honor back to our God, Jesus. Hallelujah, church. So may Jesus bless you. Let's pray for the word. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for your word. We thank you for everything that you're doing and you're still doing in our lives. 
We continue to call you. May your presence continue to be with us. Don't forget us and don't leave us the same. May you change us. Give us the knowledge and the wisdom and the strength that we need as we continue to tally, as we continue to abide, as we continue to keep their waiting upon you in Jesus' mighty name. May you bless these people, God. May you set them free, Father. May your manifestation come their way. May light be their portion, Lord. May they never lack. Father, may everything they do, in everything they do, may they see your hand in Jesus' mighty name. And everyone says, Amen and Amen. And amen. Children of God, may the Lord bless you. Allow me to say, have a blessed evening. It's been a pleasure to preach to you. I love you with the love of Christ. Shalom, children of God. Just get to know that you can come back on our Facebook page and you look at these sermons and you again meditate. You continue to learn who you are. Your life will never be re will never remain the same in Jesus' mighty name. Remember that you're blessed. And you're meant to conquer and you're meant to win you will never lack you're created in the image of god shalom children of god be blessed